So I've seen that this trend on how to become magnetic is still going on. Like everyone wants to be magnetic, everyone talks about on how to become magnetic. But before I get into that, I just want to call out on the bull because no one does. No one addresses the big elephant in the room. And that is the question, why? Why do you want to become magnetic? What is the purpose behind it? Or more exactly, what do you want to gain from it? Because I don't think that someone is searching how to become magnetic just for the sake of it. To me, it seems like you are searching in this question for a solution for an underlying problem that is not magnetism in the first place. Maybe it could be just a practical solution because you want to attract more opportunities in your life, like for example attracting more people that can support you in your business or career. Or maybe you just want to be more confident and in magnetism indeed confidence is a big part of it. But let's face it, another huge part of it is that you want to be liked by many people. Everyone to like you. And it's nothing wrong with that. But why don't you like yourself enough so that you don't even care if others do it as well? Because someone that is truly magnetic is so full and complete inside that they don't even question if other people like them because they are more focused on connecting with people and having enjoyable experiences than to make other people like them. So instead of asking how to become magnetic, the question should be more like, how can I like myself more and be more confident with who I am so I don't even have to ask myself how to make other people like me. But no worries, I got you. Because in this video, I'm gonna share how to become magnetic, not so that other people like you, but so that you like yourself enough so that other people liking you will become a natural byproduct. So first you have to understand that you are already magnetic. Just think about it. Magnetic means attracting things, others, and you are already attracting certain type of people in your life, certain type of experiences, by the way you already are. We attract what or who we are. Just think of all the people in your life that already find you magnetic and most probably you don't even know it. And in the same way what we attract, the same way we also repel what is different from us. This is very natural because we seek people that are like us and that share the same values. It's about finding our tribe. And it doesn't matter how many people you will attract, there will always be some people that you will repel. And it's okay. You don't have to be liked by everyone, but you have to be liked by the people that share similar values. And if you don't like the people that you attract, then it means that it's time to change yourself to appeal more to the people that you want to attract in your life. However, there is also this concept that opposites attract. And if you look at physics and at the theories on magnets, it clearly shows that magnets with opposite polarity attract and the ones with same polarity repel. So each magnet, it doesn't matter what shape it has, it will always have two opposite poles. And even if you cut it in a million pieces, each piece will always have these two opposite poles, which shows that at the same time they attract and repel. Well, indeed, we mostly attract people that are like us, that we find familiar, and this remains true. There is also the concept where opposites attract, but I've noticed that they kind of repel later. And even in conversation, we always look for things that we have in common for shared interest. I think that it is possible, but very difficult to remain interested in someone that is completely different and with who we don't have anything in common. But at the same time, when it comes to magnetism, let's face it, we find a lot more attractive these people that have that something about them, that you just can't put your finger on it. But you are instantly drawn to them and this is the key factor. You want to become like them. 
And you know why? Not because they get the attention and opportunities and all of that. Even though it seems like it, you are not attracted to them because you want what they have, but instead you want to become like them because you want to be who they are. You see in them something special that you value and you also have in yourself. But maybe not at the same level as they do. So then you get inspired and you want to close the gap and fulfill that in yourself. So instead of looking on how to make other people like you, you should ask yourself, okay, what do I find magnetic in others that I also want to have more in myself? And it is subjective to everyone. Maybe you like that they are very authentic. Maybe you like that they are very confident with themselves or that they are very funny or artistic. Or maybe you like that they are very quiet and mysterious. Whatever it is, you have to identify it and then look on how you can integrate that in yourself. And that's why in magnetism, in physics, opposite poles attract. But in people, it's not about different with different, but it is about the same, but of opposite polarity you find magnetic someone that has the opposite polarity of what you have and of the same value. And don't tell me now that if you meet someone new that is an exact copy of you, you that you will find them magnetic because it would be so familiar and even how much you like yourself due to the familiarity, it will not feel as special because we take our qualities for granted. What we know, we have normalized. And of course that you will like them, but you will not find them as magnetic as someone that has that something more that you want to have. It will not inspire you in the same way. Like for example, someone that is very shy and finds it difficult to connect with others, maybe will find magnetic someone that is very charismatic and can easily light up the room just with their presence. Or maybe someone that overshares a lot might find magnetic someone that is very quiet and mysterious. Or a people pleaser might find magnetic someone that is very relaxed and unbothered. It is very subjective, but we all have our magnetic characteristics and values that we find in others and so in ourselves. And also not to mention that a lot of the times we find someone magnetic because we find that something inspiring in them, but maybe they are not even like that. But due to the lack of information, we project onto them what we would like to see in ourselves. They become like a muse. But everything comes down to ourselves and most of our magnetic traits, you are most probably not even aware of them. But this is also the beauty of the law of assumption because you can take the qualities that you already have and just consider them magnetic. You can assume that the qualities that you already have are already magnetic because this is the truth. Someone already finds them magnetic. And if you assume they are, more people will also believe that. And all of this happens by becoming who you want to be in order to attract what you want to attract. But of course, the viral question is more like how to become more magnetic and to appeal to a larger group of people. And indeed, there are certain qualities that attract the majority of people because the majority of people don't have them in themselves. But before I get into that, I want to share that I developed a guided meditation and a sleep affirmation tape to help you integrate the beliefs of someone that is generally magnetic. These are the qualities that I've noticed most magnetic people have and most people seek to have in themselves. The affirmations are grouped based on three major outcomes that we seek through becoming magnetic. One, to become confident and to like ourselves. Two, to attract more opportunities and abundance in our lives. And three, to connect better with people. The meditation, you can listen to it as many times as you want, but you can also just do it before going to bed and then continue with the nighttime affirmations, which include the ones that are more 
potent and also more triggering to integrate as new beliefs. The instructions are in the description of each and I really hope that you will enjoy them. The purpose is to help you adopt these new beliefs that I'm going to share now. So first thing in order to become magnetic is to already see yourself as such because you are already magnetic just the way you are. Your qualities and all the amazing things about yourself are already magnetic. How can others find you magnetic if you don't even like yourself? And most people are not even aware of all the good qualities they have because otherwise low self-esteem would be an exception. So the more you acknowledge yourself and appreciate your value and who you are, what you have to offer, the more your confidence will rise as well. And it's not about the fact that people will feel it, will see you different and will reflect that back. But it's also about the more important fact that you will become so fulfilled inside that you will not seek their validation anymore. Of course, it will be a byproduct, it will happen, but you will not be so attached to it. It would be just a nice thing to have as extra. Just think about it. If you seek it, how can it come to you? In order to attract it, you cannot seek it. You need to have it and then it will also come to you. And yes, you also need to put in some work. Besides these affirmations and beliefs that I prepared for you, you also need to look inside and acknowledge all the amazing things and qualities about yourself and then repeat them every day until you get so bored of repeating them because of course you are amazing and until you are so sure about them and of you that you don't even need others to acknowledge them because your opinion of yourself is already more than enough. And it's not just about confidence, but especially about being authentic. Because the more you value your uniqueness, the more authentic you will become, and so these qualities more magnetic. Because you are placing them under the spotlight, and of course they will shine more, and because they are unique to you and only you have them in this unique collection and this is how you will become more authentic. And you are not afraid to be yourself, but you are also not afraid to stand out because how can you be magnetic if you cannot receive the attention? And once you have this part figured out, then you can move to the next one, which is how to connect better with people. Because in order to do so, you need to be present when speaking with people. And in order to be more focused and present on them and on the conversation, your mind should not be struggling with all the anxious thoughts. Oh, do they really like me? What can I say to like me more? But if I say this, they will not be so likable. Of course, your mind will not have these exact questions, but this is what will happen subconsciously when you are trying to people please. And it's manipulative. All your behavior is pointed towards how you are perceived and liked by the other person. It's like you want to get something out of the conversation. You are more outcome focused and on what you can receive than on what you can offer. And people feel this and it's repulsive. Do you like when other people do this to you? Just think of an annoying salesman on the street, like they don't even have to speak to you, they don't even need to hold a brochure, just by looking in their eyes you can already sense that they want something from you. And nowadays most people want something from you. And yeah, this is the system in which we are living. We are exchanging something for money or attention that in the end leads to money. And this is how you can switch the polarity on this one by becoming unbothered by the outcome and rather focus more on the present. By not needing something from someone will make you magnetic. And most of the times we don't even need something from someone. But just the fact that we want to be liked it's enough to repel because we are not being fully ourselves. The more you try to impress, the more you will repel. That's why the first part is very important because once you are fulfilled and complete inside, then you can also start to focus more on other people and also not put them on a pedestal anymore. And this is what I don't like when everyone says to not be a people pleaser because 
when you are cold and not showing emotions, then how are you going to connect with someone? What is so bad in offering something to someone, like even a compliment or a support with something? The issue is not being nice. The issue is the intention behind it and when you do it in order to be liked or to gain something. If you do it because you are overflowing with abundance and because you are a generous person, like how is that bad? And plus not to mention that it will always return to you in some other way. And yes, magnetism is about people and human interaction. Just think about it. Everything is happening through people. People are moving things. And also in manifestation, all the good things that you have attracted in your life have come through people. And even if you have achieved something through an object, that object was first created by a human. And being able to connect with people is very important. And once you are finally confident and full inside and you can focus more on the present moment and enjoy the process, then you can also focus more on how to connect with others. Then you can be more curious about them, learn something new about them or from them, ask more questions, understand their point of view even though it's different from yours and everything will start to flow and you will be able to connect better. And it's not always about being entertaining. Of course, it helps if you can make someone laugh, but what helps the most is being able to listen. People want to be heard when you talk with them. And nowadays, with our short attention span, the fact that you can focus on what someone has to say is already magnetic. I've noticed in certain people that I find magnetic, like when you speak to them or are around them, it's like all the buzzing noise in your mind from all the distractions stops. And you are able to enter into a bubble of presence and quiet and it's just like time slows down and I think this is happening not only because they are able to focus and hold attention but through this they are also able to hold the attention from others and most of the times without even speaking too much and another magnetic quality that helps you to connect better with people is to be vulnerable because nowadays people are afraid to be themselves or to share a flaw because then they will be perceived less than they are. And when someone is unbothered and shares something more personal with someone, then immediately connects with the other person. And at the same time, empathizing also helps in connecting with others. Besides being heard, we also want to be understood and feel like we are talking with another human being by being okay with feeling human as well. And because you want to become magnetic, unfortunately, the more people that you will attract, the more you will have to say no, because you just cannot be for everyone. So you have to be okay with saying no and protecting your energy by offering it exclusively. But when you do, just focus on having a great time. I am Anneliese and I am passionate about becoming the best version of ourselves and living our dream life because it's already ours. Thank you so much for watching till the end and yes, I can barely speak and I really hope that you will enjoy the meditations as well. Love you. Bye.